Hello everyone, today we're talking about Daredevil and how to let go of bad habits. I'm gonna give you one mindset that can help you let go of bad habits while also analyzing the themes of Daredevil Season 3 because I think they are very in line with the advice I'm about to give. Let's get right into it! So one of the biggest causes for us to be addicted to bad habits is when life gets tough for us. I'm gonna use two characters of Daredevil to explain this theme and why we do this. Those are Matt and Dex aka Bullseye. First starting with Matt, Matt has gone through a lot of crap when season 3 starts. I haven't actually seen the vendors but I know Elektra died and a building dropped on his face. Anyway life gets really tough for him. So because all of these tribulations, he starts to lose himself. He loses his faith in God, his morals, he pushes away the people he cares about and he just becomes a different and worse version of himself. Now the way he puts this bad version of himself truly to action is the fact that he wants to kill Fisk. Fisk gets out of prison and the city is upside down again. He starts killing innocent lives again but a no killing rule is exactly what Matt used to stand for and what used to define him. Matt is a catholic so he believes no one deserves to die and that everyone should have a chance of redemption. Let me ask you this. What's that? What about hope? Oh fuck. Come what on Frank. About Santa Claus? You want to talk about Santa Claus? I live in the real world yeah. too and I've seen it. What have you seen? Redemption Frank. It's nah. real. Jesus and it's possible. The people you murder deserve another chance. What, to kill again, rape again? Is that what no, you Frank, want? No Frank, to try again Frank. To try. So because Matt is so messed up in season 3 and the fact life is tough for him, he's willing to break his character and give in to his instincts. But this would be a very real consequence for Matt. That consequence is lived by the second character who is also a great example of why we pursue bad habits. That is why we're gonna talk about Benjamin Poindexter. Dex is actually the same character as Matt. Like Matt, Dex had to grow up with no parents. He got abandoned at a young age. Unfortunately for Dex though, he has a borderline personality disorder. He killed his coach after he didn't let him play. His therapist is about to die and he wants to kill her for abandoning him. If things go bad for him, he has no other option than to unleash his instincts. His therapist tells him that he just needs to find a North Star to be mentally stable. So for a while, he does. He has a job at the FBI so that keeps him grounded. Then he loses that job and Julie, someone he admires, abandons him as well. So things go bad for him again. Kimping starts manipulating Dex and eventually Dex gets fired. So right now Dex has nothing that keeps him grounded. His mental health is super low right now so he is on the brink of suicide. Then Fisk offers him a road where he can unleash himself and give in to his instincts. He offers him a chance to get revenge on the media and the people who made him lose his job. So he accepts it. Matt and Dex both have crappy lives that make them crave to go bad and give in to their instincts. So season 3 definitely asks us the question, can a man be strong enough to not give in to their instincts even after life goes bad for them? This is very similar to how people and our brains work in general. It's a basic concept but like I said one of the biggest causes that leads to bad habits and giving in to cravings is when life gets tough. We crave a sense of escapism if we experience stress or bad things happening in our life. So when we get bad news, maybe we get a stressful letter, when we have anxiety or depression, we want a sense of relief to replace that pain or emptiness we feel. For a lot of people that can be smoking, drinking, fast food or any other addictions, maybe even a social media addiction. There are a lot of things you can do. It can also cause us to do things we don't even like to do like being mean to people or neglecting friends and family. The tricky part about this though is that in a lot of cases we never like this version of ourselves that pursues the bad habits. A lot of times those things that give us relief also make us feel really bad after and we know it's not good for us. Smoking and drinking messes us up. Social media addictions make us feel empty. Eating too much fast food can result in health issues and perhaps weight insecurity if you care about that. Those habits may make us feel pleasure but they also create problems we don't like to have and make us be someone we don't like to be. 
This is exactly what gets displayed in the second half of the season. Because Matt gets a confrontation of the type of person he can become when he continues this jaded road. I already mentioned that Dex and Matt are the same person as they both get abandoned by people and have bad life circumstances. But Dex becomes the unhinged version of Matt by working for Fisk, killing people and giving in to his instincts. So he becomes Daredevil. Who are you? I'm Daredevil. This fight between Dex and Matt is a really great representation of their characters. Matt uses his sticks to hurt while Dex uses them to kill. Dex is Matt with no sense of morality and that is what he can become if Matt gives into his instincts and kills Fisk. I freaking love how Dex looks at this thing he's about to throw. <laughs> Such a great villain. So Matt has to fight the evil version of himself for the whole season. He has to fight his impulses before he goes bad. One other way this gets displayed is when Matt finds out Father Lantham kept the secret from him. He never told Matt that Sister Maggie is his mother. Since Matt is super jaded for the whole season, he hates the fact that Father Lantham did this and doesn't want to forgive him. So when Dex kills him, it's like Matt sees himself if he continues being unforgiving and vengeful. This church fight is also so amazing, I really like the realism and how brutal they fight. Dex is so threatening as he can make a weapon out, out of literally anything. Anyway, so what's the solution for Matt and what's the solution for us to let go of our bad habits? Well, we already talked about how Matt gets confronted of the bad version of himself, but what actually gets him to change is him being mindful of his actions. After Dex was about to kill Karen and killed Father Lantham instead, Karen and Matt have a talk. Matt tells her that he's about to kill Fisk, but Karen has a history of killing someone as well. She unintentionally killed her brother as she was high and drunk and made bad life decisions. She is very aware of how it feels to kill someone. Okay, there's no way to come back from killing anyone. Even Fisk. It will change everything that you, that you feel about yourself. And this is what Matt needs to realize and be mindful about. This concept will play back in the season finale. But to first elaborate on why mindfulness will work on Matt and why it works on us, I recently watched a TED talk from Judson Brewer. He says that when we are mindful of bad habits, when we are actually aware of what we get from the experience of giving to our cravings, we can naturally become disenchanted from it. He did a research in his lab where he told the smoker to be mindful and curious of the actual experience of smoking. The person smoked the cigarette and by being mindful, she actually found the experience disgusting. It smelled bad and tasted like chemicals according to her. Then she naturally became disenchanted with her behavior. So if we take a moment to realize the actual experience of bad habits, the disgusting fear of smoking, the emptiness we feel after checking social media and having no notifications, the ratio between the pseudo happiness we feel and the overwhelming regret if we do something we shouldn't do, we then can become more rational of what we're about to do. He has proof of this and did research, so I will link the TED talk in the description. But I personally resonate with this a lot. A lot of times when I feel empty or want dopamine, I get the urge to compulsively refresh notifications and gain validation. Or I download Snapchat to see if anybody has messaged me or check if someone subbed to my YouTube channel. But sometimes I stop and I start to think, will this really help me and solve a problem or will it make the problems worse? And I try to take a moment to realize the experience of the negative consequences I will feel if I give in. So if I stand still and be mindful, I actually think, well, I'll probably just feel more empty after that potential tiny feeling of pleasure goes away, like I always do. And indulging will probably just make me feel bad after all. This form of mindfulness gets played out in the season finale. This is what can save Matt from killing Fisk and can save us from our bad habits. Matt actually gets somewhat better. He starts to be open to his friends again and he starts to be open to the plan of not killing Fisk. Then Fisk gets the upper hand again and he is now determined to potentially killing Fisk. The final fight arrives. Ultimately, this conflict can resolve in only two ways. Either Matt will choose to abandon his morality and give in or renew his belief of grace. 
Bullseye, Daredevil and Fisk both have an amazing fight. This fight is one of my favorites of the MCU. Honestly, I was just ruling for Dex to kill Vanessa but Matt is also really cool for interrupting. It's just a very great fight between three compelling characters and you care for all of them. So then the moment arrives where Matt has the upper hand and is about to kill Fisk. And then he decides not to. That scream is what it's like to have inner demons so strong but to still rise above them. And this is how Matt stays true to his character. He is mindful of the horrible consequences and how he will feel if he gives in. Come on! Kill me! No! God knows I want you. But you don't get to destroy who I am. You will go back to prison. And you will live the rest of your miserable life in a cave. I beat you. It's such an amazing moment. Charlie Cox acting is absolutely amazing here. So Fix gets arrested and it may seem like Matt has unfinished business with himself and that there still needs to be a hole filled for not killing Fisk. But there is a reward for him, that is that he is a hero for staying true to his character and saving the city. He is born again. And I think that we can get growth like this as well if we stay true to our character and avoid the things we crave to do. This is also a very great element of mindfulness, to realize what it is like to not do the bad things and to stay true to our character. For Matt, he becomes a hero and to be honest, for us it is heroic as well if we don't, if we don't give in. I love it and I love this season of Daredevil. So for you, if you have bad habits that you want to get rid of, whether that's smoking, alcohol, phone addictions or overeating, you're gonna have to apply this action guide. When you get cravings, you have to be mindful and feel what it will actually be like if you give in and what the actual consequences are. Will it actually feel good to be addicted to social media or will it leave you with a sense of emptiness? Will you actually feel good after overeating or will you just be full of regret? Will the thing I'm about to do actually make me feel better or will it worsen my problem? Will giving in to my instincts make me feel good? Or will it ruin my character? Something to think about. However, that is just half of it. Because mindfulness about the experience is great, but like I said before, we also need to be mindful of the joy we can have of letting go of bad habits. After Matt completed his arc, Matt gives an amazing speech about this concept. Matt talks about how his fears enslaved him when it comes to being in touch with the people he loves, and he talks about the possibilities of letting go of your fears. For me personally, he spent many years trying to get me to face my own fears. To understand how they enslaved me, how they divided me from the people that I love. He counseled me to transcend my fears. To be brave enough to forgive. And see the possibilities of being a man without fear. This isn't 100% in line with what we're discussing right now but I still think it's a great message. Because Matt talks about seeing the possibilities of not giving in to fear and to fully let go of our bad habits we could also be mindful of the great possibilities we can have of letting go. This can mean anything from being sober, feeling confident and amazing for not giving in and becoming a man without fear. There's so much growth you can get from handling your urges, sticking to great habits and avoiding the things you don't like to do. So that is your guide to let go of bad habits. I'm gonna work on this as well because I can also improve. <laughs> One last tip, what I just mentioned is really great to let go of your bad habits but I personally don't love the idea of replacing your bad habits with doing nothing. Especially if your bad habits come from having a lot of stress, doing nothing and just combating it with a mindset might not be enough, for me personally at least. I think it's very good and healthy to express that stress in a healthy way. Matt does this by expressing his anger and stress by unleashing it on criminals. That's not very healthy. <laughs> That's not very healthy, but it is at least better than him unleashing and killing his enemies. 
And by the way, he does save a lot of people, so it's not completely unfiltered. For a lot of people, including me, that is working out. If I'm stressed out, the gym is like my go-to place to express that rage and just have an outlet for my stress. Journaling and expressing your feelings is also great. I hope you got inspired by this video. If you did, drop me a like if you want. Personally, I may feel very motivated after hearing things like this or seeing superheroes work hard, but after a while I kind of forget and I need a new spark of motivation to work on my goals. That's why I regularly make videos like these so that you can get directly inspired and can consistently make your life better. If you're interested in more of that, hit the subscribe button to stay notified for my next videos. If you want to know a great way to stick to your habits, check out this video. Let me know if you have any thoughts about this mindset in the comments or just if you want to say something interesting. I really hope we get more of that of what I really want season 4 because I gotta see more of my man Bullseye, he's one of my favorite villains. But I hope we will at least get to see Matt Murdock in Spider-Man No Way Home. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.